Hello, and welcome. I'm Ryan Higa, professional singer and vocal stylologizerist. You might remember me from How to Sing Like Your Favorite Artist Part 1, but this one's completely different. It's not as good. With that being said, welcome to How to Sing Like Your Favorite Artist Part 2. Remember that scary movie, The Grudge? Make the sound that that little girl in The Grudge makes. Aww. Just sing like you normally would sing. When I met you in the summer. And add the little grudge girl sound. When I met you in the summer. To my heartbeat sound. We fell in love. As the leaves turn brown. In order to sound like The weekend, you have to literally make your face frozen to the point where it's numb and you can't feel it anymore. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. And once you got the frozen face down, all you have to do is act like you're sad and depressed. I'm just trying to get you out the friend zone. And if people can't hear you, just use a megaphone. I only call you when it's sound like Fetty Wap? Just sing as if you just got hit in the nuts. Or for girls to relate, just make the sound you make when you cut wind. You know when you get the wind knocked out of you, you make that sound that's like <gasps> And then just sing like that. Fetty Wap. Oh! Baby, won't you come my way? You know when you're yawning and you still try to talk that sound it makes? <sighs> All you have to do is sing while you yawn. You and me, we made a vow. kid and you're on the verge of crying but you do your best to try and suck it up. You know the borderline where you're trying to fight back your tears because you know once you start crying you're not gonna be able to stop. Well in order to sound like five seconds of summer, you gotta get to that borderline. <laughs> what we had was real, how could you be fun? Yes I'm not fun at all. That voice you make when you get sent to your room by your parents where you want to yell back at them but you don't want them to hear it I hate this family because you know that if they hear you you're gonna get in more trouble Tell me, go to my room go to your room in order to sound like Bruno Mars that's all you gotta do shout but don't let your mom hear it don't believe it just watch hey 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 ah! shut up you shut up like Pharrell, you just have to sing as if you're really unconfident and you don't want other people to hear you. Clap along if you. Nope, too confident. Clap along if you. Even more unconfident. Clap along if you. You are so unconfident, you have no self esteem. Nobody wants to hear you sing, bro. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Clap along if you know what happiness means to you. In order to sound like 21 Pilots, you gotta think choppy. You gotta be a chicken. Chickens move like this. And in order to sound like 21 Pilots, you just gotta be a chicken. Wish we could turn back time. Even more chicken. Wish we could turn back time. More chicken. Wish we could turn back time. Just be a chicken. Wish we could turn back time. To the good old days. Not to sleep, but now we're stressed out. In order to sound like Selena Gomez, you just gotta do what we just did with 21 Pilots. Be a chicken. Except this time, a little bit more robotic. Just one tone. I am a robot. And that's about it. In order to sound like Selena Gomez, you just gotta be a robot chicken. Can't keep my hands to myself. I hope my mom doesn't watch this part. You wanna sound like Adam Levine? Pretend you're a baby crying for attention. And once you got that down, you just gotta be out of breath. And once you got those two down, you're Adam Levine. A baby that's out of breath. I'm hurting, baby. I'm broken down. I need your loving, loving. I need it now. When you think Jason Derulo? Think high pitch. And just when you think it's too high, go even higher. And even higher after that. He literally tells you what to do to sound like him. You just gotta sing. So high. So high. Yeah. Jason Derulo. You know when you're sick and you just can't get that snot out of your throat? <coughs> In order to sound like Eminem, you just have to keep trying to get that snot out to the point where you're so frustrated that you have to yell. Ah! You're not my closet, all the mother songs, but regardless, I don't hate you, cause ma, you're so beautiful to me, cause I'm a ma! Cause you're my mom. <laughs> Last time I taught you how to rap like Drake. But Drake is more than that, he's a singer. And in order to sing like him, all you have to do is sing like you normally would. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Well this time, all you have to do is stand on a shaky stool while trying to dust the top of your cabinets. I'm way up, I feel Bless you. blessed. Again, last time we taught you how to sing emo songs. Just sing as if you're pushing out a dookie. <laughs>
In order to sound like Green Day, you just gotta do that, but this time you're extremely bored. Uh, uh, wake me up when September ends. You want to sound like Shakira? Just think Kermit the Frog is a girl. Kermit the Frog here. I guess that would be Miss Piggy. Kermit the Frog here. If you want to sound like Shakira, you're Miss Piggy. I'm on the night when I'm a hipster man. I'm starting to feel right. To sound like Gwen Stefani, stick your bottom lip out and pout. Gotta pout more than that. Even more pouty. <laughs> you're a little girl throwing a tantrum. Never thought this would happen. Gotta let you sink in. You're gone. I don't even smoke, but if you want to sound like Lord, you gotta take a few hits. What the? And that's how you do Lord. Just have a couple hits and then disappear. There's a lot of different kinds of dance songs, but all the best ones have one thing in common. A little annoying kid. Hi everybody, I'm a little kid. Just use that little annoying kid as a hype man. For example, if you want to sound like Silent Hope. You already know who it is! Now watch me whip. Yeah. Now watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip, whip, now watch me nae, nae. Why are you doing? Or like Major Lazer song, Lean On. You just have to be a little kid that's fearing for his life because he's about to get leaned on by a rather large woman. Or even like I Love Memphis. You know the guys that sing Hit the Quan? That's still a little annoying kid, but now he's a teenager, so he gets to do the whole song. Please watch yourself, cause I'm feeling myself. Throw a flag on the play, now somebody gets a rap. You know those people that nothing bothers them, they're always happy, they're always smiling, to the point where it's almost annoying? You know what I'm talking about, like those overly positive motivational speakers? Well, in order to sound like every Disney song, you just gotta sound like one of them. And every single morning I wake up, and I tell myself, I can, I can, I can show you the world. Once you have that down, all you have to do is introduce another equally annoying motivational speaker. A dazzling place I never knew. And now all you gotta do is put them in an annoying motivational battle where they try to out positive each other. Oh, you. Don't you dare close your eyes. A hundred thousand things Hold your to breath, see. It gets better. I'm like a shooting star. A shooting star. Come so far. So I can't far. Go back to where, where I used, I used to be. A whole new world. A, a whole, whole new world. world. A whole new world. world. A whole world. Once again, we've done Justin Bieber before, but his voice just keeps changing. At first he started like a little kid, almost like a girl. I'ma tell you one time. Then he had that phase of sounding a bit more whiny and always like he's about to cry. As long as you love me. And well now, he's a man who also happens to have asthma. <gasps> Oh, well, trying to sound very sexy. Oh, yeah. To make it simpler, just think about somebody who's really old and all their organs shut down, so now they're on their deathbed, but they're still trying to sing sexy. What do you mean when you nod your head yes, but you want to say no? What do you mean mama don't like you and she likes everyone? I'll take every single piece of the blame if you want me to. And if you really want to commit to the Justin Bieber, just remember you're on your deathbed and your organs probably aren't working too well. You're probably going to need an enema. But you know that there is no innocent one in this game for two. <laughs> Will you shut up, Jason Derulo? Sorry! Sorry! No, it's too late to say that. Last but not least, the greatest artist of all time, John Williams. Now, John Williams is a composer, so in order to sound like him, you're gonna need an entire orchestra, which is a lot of people. And again, last time we taught you how to clone more people by doing the Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, or shadow clone technique. But this time, you're not gonna need that, because we have more than enough people. If you didn't already notice, we planted them throughout the entire video. And now all you gotta do, release the transformation jutsu. Click. And now that you have your orchestra and they all have their instruments, you should be good to go. Of course, this orchestra can't play those instruments because, well, they're just clones of your musically untalented <laughs> self, but you should be all right. La 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 la
Again, so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers and behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see last week's video, click the one on the right. And if you want to check out the first episode to this series, How to Sing Like Your Favorite Artist Part One, click the one in the bottom. Yeah, I feel so close to you. <laughs>